We got another man going up against Cosmos. Maybe he's able to make the waves here. Ooh, and this player that he's playing against, I... Oh, snap. Cosmos is like, can I get a dab? Okay, there it is. There it is. I feel like this player is... He has that gamer face. He looks locked in and ready. Is he about to take a picture? Oh, okay. Oh, he... Is he, about, is he listening to a tune? Because he definitely looked at his phone and looked like he was ready to go. Here it is. So Piranha Plant on stage. All right, and we got a real ass match. Remember Here we go. I, remember when I said you're making waves? All right. All right, making bro. Making waves, baby. <laughs> well, we'll see if they're actually making waves. Oh, you know what? <laughs> but we have seen Piranha Plant kind of pop off a little bit. Brute managed to make it work. I just, I don't know if Piranha Plant is going to be able to get through the pressure that Cosmos can put on him, especially if he's playing confidently. But that is the one good thing I will say Piranha Plant has. Uh, if your dash attack doesn't go well past him, uh, every time that he drops that ball and you hit him with something, you're getting hit. Yeah. Oh, I'm, damn! So I'm going to tell you right now, against this character, you're going to have to respect that down B, right? you got to play different. Yeah, because it, it does way more shield damage now. It's scary. You, I, and the fact that, like... <laughs> oh, the, the, my the, God. He's getting... How is he doing this? The fact that he has that, that spike ball, right? It's such a great projectile. One of the best projectiles in the game. He did... He didn't even have to throw it off to the side. He, he could have let it like just like fall back into his yep. mouth. And if he got interrupted, it would have hit Cosmos. Here it is. And yep. even blocking the spike ball does some good shield damage. This character yeah. overall could set up for some good shield breaks. Wait a minute. This, I, this, he might actually be making a name for him. To, oh, okay, try to get the, the smoke cloud. I'm going to tell you right now, man. I believe in oh. Prada Plant. I believe in this character. He's he's heavy, right? He got a fast jab, two frames. Um, Pretty good projectiles. You don't want to jump on top of this character because of the spike ball, the up smash, and the up tilt are all great anti airs. Up tilt and up smash has invincibility. Have to respect that. Yo, he's actually he's actually full on playing game right now. So yeah. Now Cosmos still starting to run away with this lead a little bit. 86%. However, as uh, D1 said, yeah, this is a very char uh, heavy character. So it's gonna be a little bit before Cosmos probably has a full on KO. And look at look how far he can recover from. Should go high. Okay, actually, oh! Yeah, th and that's the other thing about Piranha Plant, too, man. This character, if you try to edge guard him, he could, like, literally bang you against the wall with his leaves. But right there, we saw the burial from Cosmos, but Mania still has one more stock. He's not going to go six feet under yet. Yeah. All right, so this is, uh, yeah, as I say, this is looking a little, a little rough now for uh, Mania. Good spot dodge. Did not want to get that Damn, shield okay. damage. He, he, Super shook. You saw spot that, dodge right? Two rolls, I'm out. Like. <laughs> Another one. There we go. Nice follow-ups, and he keeps it going. But a really fast jab just to break up the pressure, get some momentum. Let's see what Plank Gang's going to do here. We, okay, there's a Poison Cloud controlling space. Yeah, that, that's, I think that's one good thing that uh, um, you know, Prime Plant definitely has. It's like, yeah, even if you try to get over the uh, Poison Cloud, he's like, I still got this uh, Spike Ball for you as well. What's up? So pressure all over the place. You cannot hit that the way that uh, Cosmos is going for. Oh, yes. Oh, okay, timing. that's actually really good. Yeah, really smart. Gets under him also for the uh, forward air, but not the strong hit of that yet. Right there, uh, a roller probably might have actually worked. Oh! oh! That hurt, boy! Yo, that's my Kirby edge guard. Whenever I'm playing this matchup, ask Kirby, and I'll just take that and I'll just jump off and put the spike ball up. Like, yeah, go ahead and hit me now, bro. That is so good. Okay, that's damage. damage. That's damage. Good. Oh, my. Yo, 96. Wait. First of all, that was that super smart from both players. So he mashed out and then did the roller, but because he uh, had the spike ball up, he didn't get uh, the follow-up. However, second roller is going to find his mark. Yo, hold up. Plant gang. I'm telling you, bro. That's my, That's one of my favorite characters. He was able to get the poison cloud. Then he got the grab. He was going for the pummels. And the moment you saw Cosmos break out, he was so big brain. He's yeah. like, oh, break out? I'm going to go for one of the most immediate options that I can go for that can potentially put me in a good scenario even if I get hit after using this. And what was that? The spike ball. He got interrupted. It hit Cosmos, sent him off stage. Cosmos was at 96. It almost looked like a bad situation, but then you saw that roller coming through in the clutch at the edge, and Damn. that's the first game. See, I feel like this is one of those characters, like, when you when you see someone picking Prana Plant, like, it's like a 50-50 on this guy's trolling, or he's, like, actually the next Prana, Prana Plant in the world. Like, you can't sleep on these, like, underused characters like that. You know? Yes, sir. If I, if I see someone playing uh, K. Rule and it's not being gold, but, like, I'm still shook. You know what I mean? I'm like, hold on, why are you playing K. Rule? Like, you <laughs> must know something I don't. Here we go. Man, freaking gold, man. But right now we got Mania, who's definitely showing us what he's working with. 616, I don't know that area code, sadly. I, I feel like it might be West Coast. I know 626. Oof. Up six smash. That's Stitch, bro. What do you mean? Disney. What the heck? Disney. Experiment 626, man. Oh, I was about to say, what the heck is that? Nice parry, by the way. 
Going high, but Cosmos is he's privy to that. Okay, Sprayed him. Um, he's getting shined. However, yeah, actually, wow. <laughs> My man said shined. I was like, melee? I mean, any, anytime, uh, that's the ink shine for sure. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, oh, when you uh, read that. So you notice how a lot of times, in the beginning, he kept going for like the grounded versions. Yeah, yeah. But now he's putting it out there and waiting for Cosmos to jump. Which yeah, yeah. super smart. Yeah, because like once you start moving, you can't actually move the other way again. So like, yeah, once you tilt it, you can't tilt it back up. It just you know you have to let go before the tilt hits the ground all, all, all you know the whole way or not. Nice tech chase by Cosmos makes it really easy to get the tech chase when you just hold A right there. Man, hold up, it's a rare plant right here. Oh, at the side too. Yeah. Yeah, very. That, it's that's probably one of the best options to go for to kill this character, especially with the high ceiling. Character's heavy. Go for that horizontal KO. Damn, Yo. Okay. Big, and that was uh, a good hitbox on the F-Smash as well. It's a grab. Four throw, set up for the spike ball. Oh, okay, I like that. But he uh, put himself off stage. Yeah, that's going to get ledge trapped. That would have hit if that wasn't for the platform. So this is his own counter pick actually working against him. <laughs> True. He's getting inked up right now. That multiplier is going to start counting big time. Good roll, though. Doesn't want to get grabbed by Cosmos. Would have been more damage with the flats. Cosmos back on stage. Yeah. Finds a forward air jab. Gets some good damage. Get some good ink as well, and good shield damage right here. Cosmos is going to have to be super active so he could let his shield recover. And nice! I like that. I, I love like that. that. Yeah, a lot of people get caught off guard because of the fact that, you know, when you go for that roller, you do have the option to jump out. And you saw him do it right there. He, it kind of made him, it kind of helped speed up his horizontal, like, you know, Definitely sped up his horizontal. You saw that, right? Because yeah. he zoomed. He was like, I'm on stage, actually zoom, and came through with the forward air. After the roller, and there you have it. Yo, but Mania 616 put on a really good show. We don't get to see too many plant players, so I'm actually pretty happy. And here's Dark Rizzy right now. Trans rights, you already know, guys. Shout out to all the allies out there in the chat. We love you guys. <laughs> oh, wait, why, why does he look like he's about to snub Sam Sword? Sam Sword got a nice button down, by the way. E United, that's your son. My son right now about to fight your son, apparently. Wait, what? No, uh, it looked like he was trying to swing on your son, man. Oh, oh I, thought, I was like, I'm pretty sure that's not what's coming up next, but you never Oh, know. no, no, no. Like, swing in, like, you know, not, not, yeah, not yeah, like yeah. playing in a real match, you know. Just yeah, fake swing. Yeah, I'm sorry. My, my son stays styling, though. I give it up. <clears throat> yes, sir. So, 